Yeah, I accidentally pressed the recording button, um, so that's why that ended so abruptly. <laughs> so yeah, um, now I'm going to take y'all over here to my little makeshift nightstand. Oh, and there's my friend, by the way. That roach has been there for a month. A dead roach. Yeah, because I, uh... I don't know. Uh, I don't know why I haven't... How? My iPad is there. I don't know why I haven't vacuumed it. Probably because I haven't... I've been busy, you know? I should do that tomorrow, though. I have been planning on vacuuming again. I... The thing is, it's like so noisy and such a pain in the ass. Because I gotta move a bunch of stuff around. And it's so loud. And I'm all so lazy, you know. It's a pain in the ass, man. I should be doing it at least once a month, though. Which is a good goal to shoot for once a month. Anyway, over here. We have this first thing I want to show you guys. It's a... um book my grandfather made um he um drew all the pictures himself and um the story uh oh it's entitled joseph and the bumblebee or be be careful is one that he would tell um my brother and i when we were kids and probably also my mom when she was a kid that is not good lighting but um yeah, it's about, uh, it's a, it's based on a, a true story, uh, from when he was a kid, uh, involving a bumblebee, and it's, uh, it's a classic, uh, the, the artwork is really good, it's, it's actually my favorite picture book, but, um, yeah, if, if, uh, you got, like, a younger sibling, I'm sure this would make a great, um, sort of gift, you know, or, you know, something they might like, because the, the artwork is very good. Now, I don't want to spoil all the artwork, but I will give you guys a taste of one of the pictures, and, uh, I just gotta find one, uh, this one should be good. So, there it is, there's, uh, one frame it's uh yeah um i like it a lot i really do not just saying that because it's uh, a relative it's um you know genuinely a good work um and you can find it on amazon i think but yeah should be the only result when you search Joseph and the Bumblebee. But yeah. Next, uh, got two net I have a, I do the uh, Netflix DVD subscription. My two that I got just yesterday are, um, Dolomite, which is, um, a black exploitation comedy, and it looks pretty funny. The reason I'm seeing it is for one for one thing, I'm interested in the, all the exploitation movies, um, or at least that that style. And also, Eddie Murphy is uh, releasing this biopic. Well, I guess he isn't. Re Netflix is releasing this biopic starring Eddie Murphy as the actor of Dolomite named Rudy Ray Moore. And it's entitled, I think it's called My Name is Dolomite. Or no, Dolomite is my name. And should be coming out next month on Netflix. And it looks pretty good. Um, ever since, like, the second Shrek movie, Eddie Murphy hasn't really had any good roles. <laughs> um, now, I haven't seen all of his roles, and I've heard that a couple of them are pretty good since Shrek 2. But, um, yeah, any of the stuff I've seen past that movie I have not liked, including the Shrek se the, the, the sequels to Shrek 2. So, 
yeah. The other one that I got is called Wild at Heart with Nicolas Cage and Laura Dern. And um, Willem Dafoe is also in it. And it's a David Lynch movie that I'm not entirely sure what it's about. The reason I'm watching it is because I follow a uh, the Sardonicast, which is a, a podcast of the YouTubers, um, Your Movie Sucks, I Hate Everything, and Ralph the Movie Maker. And I've seen a good few of their episodes, but I want to actually watch all of them because I like them. Like, I think they're all really funny together, you know? And I like hearing them talk about movies. And one of their episodes early on is um, on Wild at Heart. They usually do a couple movies in each episode. And Wild at Heart is uh, one of the ones in an earlier episode. And I'm basically just going from the beginning and watching the movie for the episode, or what, however many movies are in the episode, and then watching the episode. But, I mean, podcast aside, this movie sounds pretty good. Well, it looks pretty good. Sounds good from who's in it and who's directing it and what I know about them. And, you know, I've seen the cover, so, yeah. Next, I have a few, uh, couple library stuff. I have, uh, the Shape of Water. Um, I'm not, I don't really want to show them because I don't want any, anyone stalking me. Because it might have the, uh, address on it. I don't know, I'm not risking it. And the other one I have is the classic John Wayne Western entitled McClintock. And it looks pretty good. John Wayne is pretty cool. Next, I have Welcome to the NHK, a complete series on DVD. There isn't a Blu-ray release of it. This is my favorite anime and one of my favorite stories in general. Probably my favorite, actually. Like, I've gone back... This is probably, like, my ninth time seeing it. Maybe the tenth. Um, yeah, it's it's great. Uh, I like it better than the book. Though I also love the book as well. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's way up there. I mean, it's... it's is great. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm, I'm currently re-watching it. I'm about halfway through. It's been a couple weeks though, but yeah. Um, so I got Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. This is my parents. Um, I'm borrowing it because I watched oh, that iPad <laughs> just hitting myself all over today. I watched the first two back in July, and I reviewed the first one on Letterboxd, which, by the way, uh, if I remember, or if someone reminds me, I'll put the link, but if you just search Bob Evans, it's the one, it's Bob underscore Evans, and, uh, you know, I don't know how many other Bob Evanses there are on Letterboxd. Um, but yeah, I reviewed the first one, and I have notes for the second one. I never got around to writing the whole review, but I will. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't really, like, I mainly just use Letterboxd for myself. Um, like, I don't really care about, like, showing off my knowledge on there about stuff. I, I like having review thing is, I, I write the reviews, and then I, I read them myself later, you know, just reliving the memories. I don't know, that's something I, I do. Uh, sometimes I watch some of my own videos, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, never got around to watching the third one since then, but I, I will. Don't worry, it'll happen. Probably in November, if we're being real. I'm a bit booked for October. Next, The Meaning of Life. Haven't seen it yet, but I, um, I always have, I've seen the, the opening sequence a couple times in my life. Just that one sequence with the moving buildings and whatnot. So, yeah. Next, The Girl Next Door. I found it in the trash. Looks good. Spaceballs is awesome. 
I'm gonna watch it. Thing is, with the Star, going back to Star Wars, I'm watching the prequels first this time. Then I'm watching the original trilogy. Then I'm gonna watch Spaceballs after that. So that should be fun. I like Spaceballs. It's funny. Next, I have three Laurel and Hardy DVDs. These are my parents, but I'm borrowing them. Um, my nose is itchy. <laughs> but yeah, um, Way Out West was my favorite. I used to watch Laurel and Hardy all the time as a kid. <coughs> that was weak. <laughs> Way Out West was good, you know? If I could recommend any Laurel and Hardy movie, I would recommend Way Out West. So yeah, if you want to get into Laurel and Hardy, check out Way Out West. It's about like an hour long, I think. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. No, it might be a bit longer than that, but... Hey, that's, that's good. More Laurel and Hardy. But yeah, I remember loving it, honestly. All the stuff I watched of theirs, but yeah. Death of the Incredible Hulk. Need to get around to watching it. Uh, my parents copy of Groundhog Day. Gotta get around to watching that again. It's it's a good movie. Finally over here, a Rambo Trilogy. In this uh, steel case. And I found this in the trash. Never watched Rambo before, but looks good. When was the third one come out? Okay, they were all in the 80s. I don't, I think, I don't know if the new one that's coming out, uh, Last Blood, I don't know if that's the fifth one or the fourth one. I ain't gonna see it in the theaters, obviously, because I haven't watched these yet. And I don't plan to quite so soon, but pretty soon, I think. But yeah, it looks fun. Uh, down here, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. It's a, uh, it's a good book. I'm gonna be watching it. I mean, I'm gonna be reading it soon. Anyway. Close these doors, because they're annoying me. Come on. Ow. Keep poking me. Closed. It's Pooh Bear. I I just dug this out like a month ago from somewhere because I remember I had it in my uh, room as a kid. And uh, yeah, never I've grown Winnie the Pooh, which is a good thing in my opinion. Anyway, I got this manga, Queen Emeraldus. I don't know, it just looked good. I never have uh, read it before. Ow. Next, uh, this book, uh, it's an art book for The Fountain. Um, that movie, I don't know if you guys remember, but I talked about it. It's, um, yeah, one of my favorite movies, and it's, it's really just photographs, um, from the movie, but it's like, I don't know, I don't, it's not like scenes from the movie, it's supplements, you know? It's worth owning for me, because I really, the, the, the visual, um, quality of the, the movie is one of the highlights for me. But, yeah, moving onward. The Ultimate Pocket Guide for Avatar. It's, um, uh, you know, it's not really a, uh, It's more for hardcore fans like me, but, um, yeah, it's cool. Uh, the Lost Scrolls Collection, it's, uh, all four sacred tales, one tale for each element. Um, I've never read it, actually. I got it, plan on reading it soon, you know, whenever I get around to it, since I'm not reading a whole lot lately. But yeah, um, yeah, this is my mom's, oh, and the Deathly Hallows, that's my mom's. This is my mom's too, Tales of the Old Bard. Uh, The Cursed Child, 
the newest Harry Potter edition, whatever. It's a, a play um, about Harry Potter's um, you know, the universe. Harry Potter universe. Not read it, haven't seen the play. I will read it. I might not like it, but I'll give it a shot. Next, I got The Rise of Kyoshi. This just came out, like, in July, I think. It's a novel about Avatar Kyoshi from the Avatar The Last Airbender franchise. And this is a hardcover, nice, very nice quality book. Very beautiful cover. Looks like... I'm no art expert, but I'd say that's watercolor. <laughs> like I like I know. But I don't know. Whatever it is, it's beautiful. Um, hopefully the book is uh, as good a quality as, uh, as the release is. Next, I got this copy of uh, The Hobbit. This I do own. This is mine. My mom has a couple copies of The Hobbit. But this is one um, a friend of mine gave me. Before he moved away to Seattle. I shouldn't have said where, but, you know, you're never going to find him. You don't even know who it is. Don't, ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> what am I getting myself into, man? The Hobbit is one that my mom read to me and my brother when we were kids, and we always watched the old Rankin-Bass cartoon movie of it as a kid, as when me and my brother were both kids. And uh, I'm planning on rereading it and then rewatching both the animated movie and the live action trilogy, which started off okay and then got kind of shitty. <laughs> but I mean, I, I like I liked the movies actually. Unpopular opinion, by the way. I think once again, I don't really partake. I mean, participate in the community. But yes. Um. Bilbo's last song, which is, I think, in The Lord of the Rings, but it's its own thing in this thing. I don't know. Oh, it's it's got pictures, though, so it's worth looking at. But yeah, the it's my mom's, and this is also my mom's, The Lord of the Rings, all-in-one edition, or whatever. I also plan on rereading that and rewatching. The animated movies and the live action trilogy. The live action trilogy was uh, some of my favorite stuff when I was a kid. I remember first seeing it in third grade. The first movie I teared up a lot when toward the end you lose somebody. But um, I don't know. I thought it was all very well done. I, th I thought the action was awesome. I was always just looking forward to more action. I remember a lot of the action. It was all very fun. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll be fun rereading the books and rewatching the movies. Um, finally, for On the Floor, I have The Chronicles of Narnia, which I remember reading. My mom actually read all the Chronicles of Narnia to me and my brother as a kid. She did a lot of that when we were kids. Um, fun fact... Um, Right when we finished reading the first book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, the movie came out in the theater. So right when we finished the book, my mom's like, now let's go watch the movie. And we're like, what? The movie? She's like, yep, the movie. And we watched it, and we all liked it. Um, now, it is a bit of a... Uh, there's some christian allegory stuff and i'm not a christian but i don't really mind the allegory stuff and whether to as to whether it actually holds up as a, a book series and as a movie a trilogy that they never continued for some reason <laughs> um i don't know because it's been so long but we will find out in due time anyway Got about 10 minutes left to record in this particular segment for this particular part. 
So let's uh, go on to this stuff. And I kind of want to move this up a little bit. This keyboard. I haven't played the keyboard in a while. I need to do that. Man, that didn't help at all. I'm moving it back. So, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie. Never watched it. These are all DVDs, by the way. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Premium OVA Collection. It's from the original, the, the first anime, not Brotherhood. But, um, I do like Brotherhood better. But, I don't know. Never got around to actually buying any of it. Got Clannad and... Clannad after... I'm turning this way. Um, Clannad is one of my favorites. I've seen it like three times. As well as Clannad After Story, but I don't like Clannad After Story as much. But I do listen to the soundtrack a lot, and I enjoy both. And I plan on replacing. There's a Blu ray release with both seasons, so I'm just going to get that eventually because it's better quality and it's also thin as opposed to these thick. These thick. Um, and not in a good way, stack DVD releases, <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, I don't like the stacks, anyway, um, Kids on the Slope, another one of my favorites, I'll eventually get it replaced with the Blu-ray, I'm not in any rush though, um, I don't know when I'll rewatch it. Um, I'm in, I'm in due, uh, it's, it's due time for me to do that, though. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very good anime from the creator of Samurai Champloo and Cowboy Bebop. Ergo Proxy, the complete series. Haven't watched it yet. I will eventually, though. Don't you worry. Kimba the White Lion, Volume 2. This is one of the first anime I ever watched. Um, remember my grandma sent... It was either me or my brother, this DVD, for one of our birthdays, <laughs> and uh, we watched a good bit. It's a, it's based on a, a manga by Osama Tezuka, so that's probably why Tezuka has such an appeal to me, because I watched his art style as a, as a kid. Now, this doesn't start from the beginning of the story. It's volume two. Um... As to when I'll rewatch it, because it's it has been since I was a kid, since I even watched that DVD. Um, I don't know, but probably not in too distant of a future. Um, I have not read the manga. The ma I don't think the manga is even released in English yet. I haven't been keeping up with the Tezuka translation news in terms of what's getting translated and what's not, but um. It should get translated at some point. I mean, it's one of his big ones, you know? It was, the anime was released in the U.S., so it's it's got a market over here, especially for me. Though I can't guarantee that I'd buy it right as it's released, so I don't know how um, readily it will, it will show on the charts. Probably not readily at all. But, anyway, next I have uh, Robotech, the Proto-Culture Collection. Basically, it's all three seasons, and uh, including the Macross Saga, Masters, and New Generation. I have not watched any of it, but it looks very awesome. It's uh, Mecha, I believe. Should be pretty cool. Next, I have this very good anime called Melody of Oblivion. Now, the ending wasn't great, but the series as a whole is pretty cool. Um, it's, uh, it's a bit experimental. It's, uh, it's a Gainax anime, so it's, there's a lot of similarities to Neon Genesis Evangelion. It's not a mecha, it's a, it's a fantasy, but it's, it's pretty cool. It's a, it's kind of a dystopian fantasy, um... Very cool, very very good music, very good animation, very good concepts, uh, some very interesting storytelling, and uh, just very very cool writing. I would I would recommend it. Um, 
It's not one of my favorites, but it's worth me having. Um, but yeah. Next I have Dragon Ball Season 1. I have watched it, and I have not watched any more Dragon Ball, or read any more Dragon Ball. My plan with Dragon Ball... Oh, and by the way, I have the uh, first four Dragon Ball movies as well on DVD. My plan with Dragon Ball, as I've probably previously stated, is read the manga, the whole manga. Well, maybe not super just yet, but, um, you know, read Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, then watch Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. I remember enjoying it a lot as a kid, or I guess in middle school. I was still a kid, I guess. But yeah, fun stuff, and uh, probably get around to it sometime in the nearish future. You know. Next, first season of South Park. Um, I have not watched it, actually. I've seen a few episodes of South Park in my life, and they're always funny, but I don't know. It's just, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, next, we got some books. Got A Princess of Mars, which is a classic pulp book, um, serving as the basis for the movie John Carter, which flopped back in, like, 2012 or 2011. But I always thought it looked cool. And the, the original book should be pretty cool. I haven't read it yet, though. I don't think I've read... Most of these, but yeah, I have a couple of Redwall books. It's a uh, Moss Flower and Matimeo. I, I'm not going to show the covers individually because it's too much of a pain in the ass. These are two of the ones that aren't in my library. I had more, but then I got rid of them uh, just because, I don't know. I was trying to get rid of, I was trying to free up space, you know. And I figured, you know, I'll just read them at the library. Which I still haven't done yet. But yeah. Next I have the novelization of The Adventures of Tintin. Um, this was given to me. And uh, I appreciate it. Um, I remember it had some... You know, like all novelizations. It, it has some additional information. And as a big Tintin fan, this is something I definitely like having. Um, I haven't read it since first time I read it back when I first got it, but, you know, yeah. Next, we have The Great Gatsby. Now, this is one I actually found in the trash and kept because, uh, it's not one of my favorite books, but it's, it's a good book, you know? If you haven't read it, I recommend it. It is a classic. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have Stephen King's Joyland. It's not at my library, so that's why I kept it. I had a bunch of other Stephen Kings, but I, I got rid of them because my library... He's the most popular author, you know? And I, I don't really... I only like having, like, my favorites, so I don't know. It's just like I, I wouldn't have gotten to them for a very long time. But yeah, next, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, the unabridged original novel that... Uh, the movie, the movie that is a great movie, is based off of, and... Uh, from what I've heard, the movie is a lot better than the book. Um, but I'm still interested in reading the book. In fact, the whole series, because it just looks fun. Uh, I heard that the books are darker. Like, like, <laughs> like the apparently the Tin Man kills things <laughs> with its axe. But, um, yeah, despite being toned down, the movie... Apparently is, is a lot better, which I, I believe it. Yeah, it's a great movie. <laughs> anyway, I have what is this? this is volume two of Taiyo Matsumoto's Sunny. Haven't read it yet. I have the book Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which Tim Burton made a movie of back in 2016, and it was a decent movie, not a memorable movie, though. So the book is probably better. I have a couple of my parents, I guess it's really my mom's, both Charlie and the Chocolate Factory books. Got a 
read those again for the fuck of it. And here we go. Uh, 